Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly and it is Friday. It's April 5th, 4.58 a.m. Yes, a.m. I have not gone to bed just yet. But I wanted to show you what I've been working on since on the live we were working on painting safety eyes and I painted a ton. And by a ton, I mean like maybe about 20 pairs. So I wanted to show you what they look like. So I went ahead and did a couple of green off camera and they look really, really good. This is with one single coat and I haven't put like a metallic coat on it just yet. And then I did these. These are so beautiful. Like these are my favorite and they are like color changing. It's like gold, bronze, almost black. I freaking love them. So in total, I made two of the size 25. So I have two sets. For the green, I made two of the size 25 as well. Then I made two of that bronzy color. These right here, the same ones. But these are size 20. I made two of them, two sets. I made one set of the green in the size 20. I made two of the green in the size 30 so pretty i'm gonna have to look over all the names you guys gave me um to see what i want to do or what i want to name these i got several of that purple look how beautiful they came out i only have two in this purple color they're so pretty sorry i have the tape on them i have five in the gold and they came out so pretty this is the size 30. So they all came out really, really nice. Upon like really, really looking at them, they look nice. I just hate that some of them came chipped from the manufacturer. So I don't know realistically. I'm going to have to do a quality check. Anyways, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys while I am here. So you guys saw Colin in his um, jammies and I'm calling this the long bottom patchwork jammies. They're so cute. Little ruffles on all his limbs and his neck. Adorable. And then the other one, I finally figured out a name. I'm going to call them Daisy Duke Patchwork Jammies. This is what it looks like. So she just has the short version of the jammies. So they kind of look like Daisy Duke um, shorts. And then it has a little patchwork on the bottom. So I was thinking of what, I think it was Amy who suggested it, to do like a peekaboo hole in the back with two buttons but I think I'll only be able to do it on the koala because the other two actually have tails I would be hiding the tail inside the peak hole she got the little short shorts on and I added just a pop of yellow and I think this patchwork looks so nice so I'm gonna post a little reel about it tomorrow or today because it's already five so after I get done talking with you guys I'm gonna make a real little reel about that but yeah these babies are so cute I can't wait to make Benji in his little jammies as well. The little jammy collection. So cute. I literally need to work on writing up my koala pattern and then trying to work on the limbs or the back legs of the bunny and the pig soon. That needs to be like an ASAP thing, but I'll probably, I probably won't work on it until next week. I just have a lot of things that I want to do. My new launch that I want to do, the stuff should be coming in on Saturday. So I may honestly do that this weekend because I'm excited about that. And then I kind of want to paint some more eyes, you know, like not right now, but later. They just, they're really fun and soothing and relaxing to make. And then I think Saturday's video, which you guys would have already seen, I think I'm just going to do my March makes just because that's a quick and easy video and I need, I need to get it out of the way too because I want to show you guys what I made in the month of March. So I think that's what I'm going to make the video. That's usually a lot simpler and faster video for me to make and if I edit it fast enough then I may go live on Friday. We'll see. I don't know just yet but I kind of want to paint more safety eyes with you guys so I guess future me will know if I went live or not and future you guys will know that. 
that's it for the update for now. I may not see you guys this weekend. You may see me tomorrow. It just depends on what I get done. Maybe I'll work on the piggy's legs and the bunny's legs and give you guys an update on that. For right now, I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so today is Sunday, April 7th, and yes, I just got home from work, so let me show you guys a couple of packages that greeted me at my door, and a huge scary package from Premier Yarns that I need to open up for you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with this little box. Don't know why it was sent in this tiny box when I have two big boxes from Amazon, have no clue. But let me go ahead and open it and show you guys what is in here because I don't even remember what I ordered. So. so I always feel like I have a ton of trash, like just itty bitty things to throw away, like wrappers and stuff of things. So I went ahead and bought myself a cute little desk trash can. This is like one of my favorite colors. And I just love the way it looked. It was aesthetically pleasing. And I think it came with trash bags, so I went ahead and bought it. Yes, it does have trash bags. So it's just this cute little trash can. And it's one of those that you just kind of open like that. So I thought that was adorable. And it comes with liners. So that will just make everything easier. And it will just be living on my desk. I think it's cute too. It doesn't really look like I mean it kind of looks like a trash can but then it really doesn't look like a trash can look how cute that's so adorable I love it I'm happy I got that next I did open the big box because I was not I was not going to bring that big box in here so I did get some little heart silicone beads and then I got this little guy but it's just basically a storage container to store my beads in my silicone beads I feel like this is may be a little more efficient so when people ask me what do you have that's green i'm not like digging through a basket full of silicone beads i can just look on here and it'll show me what i have i think it has like 32 little containers in here a huge storage thing you can pull each little container out it just kind of shows you what your inventory is. So I figured that would probably be a good way to store my silicone beads. Now I just have to sort through them and put them in each individually in a little container. This one came with two. And I do have a lot of beads, so I can start off with the cute little heart beads. Hopefully they fit. If not, um, I did buy two for that reason, just in case I can put it in two separate containers instead of just one. So next i have this box i'm not sure what's in here so let's open it together and figure out what's in this box oh i know what this is okay so do you guys remember in the last vlog i was talking about getting more lights for my background i ended up buying i think it was four lights and this is two of the four you can buy them in sets of two so that's what i did and i bought two sets of twos i believe so probably i'll probably do three back there not the four but they're just cheaper to buy them in sets of twos now i just need to buy the bulbs that you know go with my alexa so i will be buying that soon i just haven't purchased it just yet but at least i have the actual hanging light and then i can just buy the light bulbs so let's go ahead and move on to the next package let me go grab it Okay, we have the next package right here. We got some more little silicone bead hearts, but these are like squared. I ended up getting this little guy. I think it holds like 26, comp it has like 26 compartments and you can move them around so you can make them bigger or smaller. I thought that would be nice for different beads that are probably in here that I'll show you in a second. Oh, this is the second set of the of these little guys for my lights. So, and then I think it should be coming out this week, but I bought some lettered beads. 
and I feel like I can finally tell you guys what my new venture is so my next little venture that I'm thinking of doing which I bought these lettered beads for is to make stitch markers with my silicone beads with people's initials on them. So take my Melly Inspired Crochet, I would put MIC, and then I would add some silicone cute little beads on it to make it a stitch marker. And then the other venture, I could sell it with my sewing sticks so it would match perfectly with your sewing sticks and the next thing that i would sell is like a little key ring for your keys so you would have like a matching trio with your little stitch marker with your initials on it a little key ring with your initials on it and then the sewing sticks that have matching colors that they would all go together and i i think that just um i haven't seen people do like initials for their stitch markers so i would love to make some like that i did make one and this was just me toying with the idea i do plan on not using my smaller beads i think i'm gonna stick to just silicone beads but i was trying it out and i did stitches by patis sbp so I ended up using like these cute little green blue beads with gold on them. And then I used regular silicone beads, but I don't really, I didn't really like this look. So I think I'm just going to stick to like the same size. So I bought some of these beads and I have more coming in, but you know, this is just to start off. And then this will help me organize if I have an N, an M, you know, what letters I have. So I'm excited about that. I'm just waiting on my key rings to get here because I'm going to use like the small lobster clasps. Those will be best suited for stitch markers. And then the ones that I'll be using for like your keys, which look more like this. I feel like these are so much safer to put on your keychain. So I hope you guys are excited and I hope you guys like want your business initials on like some stitch markers i think that'd be so cute this is the size of the lettering and then that's why i bought a ton of little hearts in case people wanted hearts in case people want you know the different variety the square hearts instead of the rounded hearts and just like that's why i bought a ton of bows and things like that so that's basically my next venture that i am wanting to do we'll see how it goes especially selling them in duos and trios i feel like it's very interesting because i would want some sewing sticks that match my stitch marker that also match the key ring that I have on my keys. I just, you know, it's all aesthetically pleasing, I feel like. So now let's go ahead and get into the yarn haul because I did have a premiere package delivered and it's a pretty big box. So let me go ahead and show you. Okay, here is the box. I can't really show it to you guys, but do you see how big it is? I hope you guys were able to see that. So let me go ahead and open it and then I'm gonna put it on the floor because it's too heavy for me to hold it up this entire time. Oh wow, they put an extra layer of protection. Okay, all right. It looks so pretty. Let me go ahead and show you guys before I like mess it up because it looks so nice packaged in there. Hold on. Do you guys see how pretty that looks? It looks so nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this haul. Sorry, I'm moving you guys. So, we got some navy. Very, very pretty. I'm, I'm going to stop saying pretty. I'm just going to say, because this is all beautiful yarn. So, we got some navy. We got three in navy. I got three in cream three in pink lemonade i'm excited that i have pink back in my stash because i haven't had pink in a little bit three in shell don't have this color haven't had it in a little bit either three in black all of this is premier parfait chunky three in white Okay, now the rest was on sale from what I remember. Maybe it wasn't. I feel like it was, and it was the, yeah, the Premier Basic Chenille Brights. 
and a lot of this I didn't have so I figured I would spend some money on. This is in the color Caribbean. It is so pretty and I did do threes. I did do this is in Seaside. We have three in Rust and I know what I'm going to be making with this. I'm going to be making Liam the Griffin by Cozy Wonders Crochet. I have been wanting this color so I am able to make them. I just feel like this is the perfect yarn for that project and I just cannot wait to open this up so I can make some little griffins. Some Liam's. Then I got three in winter white. I got three in kiwi, three in tangerine, three in lemon, three in fog. We can make some sambas with it. I didn't know I had this red already. I already have three of these, but I apparently got three more and I should have gotten a different color. But three in poppy and then three in bubblegum, which looking up there, I, I have this. I have this color but we'll just add it and that is my entire premiere yarn haul so I got several colors only two different types of yarn which is the premiere parfait chunky which is my like ultimate favorite type of yarn and then of course I got chenille basics brights we're gonna have to figure out where the rest is gonna go but that sounds like an issue for another day so for right now I think I'm going to fix the broken links that are on my most recent video because I don't know why the Instagram links are broken but I have to fix that um, I just got home from work but I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna hop in the shower I may crochet a little bit I may show you guys I may not it just depends on how I'm feeling after my shower but let me go ahead and fix these broken links i've had several people mention it which terrible timing only because i was i was gonna try to do it yesterday but as soon as i got out of the shower i like knocked out i fell asleep and i didn't wake up until the next day for work and then you know it's been it hasn't been too bad today at work but i am just tired i just i feel it and i feel like as soon as that hot water touches my body and i'm in the shower i'm gonna want to lay down as soon as i get out of the shower so we'll see i'm gonna i want to try to crochet something though i will keep you guys updated but that is it for right now um hopefully i'll see you guys here in a little bit tonight and not tomorrow but if you see me tomorrow don't hate me I'll see you guys in a little bit. Guys, I just got home from work. It is Monday, April 8th. And I have the best package to show you guys. I am like so excited. I just got off a FaceTime with Pathiari and Addison just to show them their hooks that they ordered whenever we ordered collectively. And I have my hooks that I want to show you guys. I have six hooks in front of me. I'm missing, I think I ordered three or four more hooks, which aren't going to get here for another like two months. No shade, but these hooks are all the way from Australia. So it does take a while for them to come. The designer I've talked about that I was so excited in one of my lives to get her hooks because they are beautiful and they're by Peach and Page Designs. You see how pretty that packaging is? She also ended up giving us like free stitch markers. They're so cute. They're like these heart glass stitch markers as well as like handmade with love little sticker ta or little tags that you can put on your little plushies and stuff. So I'm most likely not going to use those. But I am definitely going to use the stitch markers. I've already separated the stitch markers that are going out to... Patty and Addison. I have already separated their hooks. They got basically the same ones that I got so but I just wanted to share with you guys the hooks that I bought. So let's start off on this side. I don't even remember which one's which but this it shows it in the back right here. This is in sugar cookie. I got it in the brook style and it's a five millimeter crochet hook. I am going to say if you are a pencil grip then the best one for you to get is called Poet if you are going to go to this website and order. So this one is in Brooke. I think it's a universal one, but it's in Sugar Cookie and it's a five millimeter crochet hook. Let me take it out of the package. Look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. It even has the hook size like right here. I don't think, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Do you see this right here? 
that is the hook size and it's in a five millimeter crochet hook. So I'm excited to see how it works. And guess what? All of these tips are clover tips. So, I mean, literally this, these are going to be my new go-tos. So anytime y'all see me crocheting, it's going to be with these babies. These are so beautiful. I think she hand makes these with, um, I honestly don't know, resin. I have no clue, but it is beautiful. The outcome is so beautiful. I love it. Well, that's the first one. I feel like I need to buy a new little cubby for them to keep them all in because they are beautiful. And I think I am going to do that when I finish recording for this because I need somewhere to put them. Next, I have Barbie Dream House. This is in the style Poet and it is a four millimeter crochet hook. This one is very pretty. I don't really like pink, but when I saw this, I felt like I needed it because it is bright. And this is the poet that I am talking about that if you're a pencil grip like me, you would probably benefit more from this type of style, which honestly, it feels really, really good on my hands. I'm really excited. It's a four millimeter crochet hook. So I try to buy one in like every size so that I was able to try them out for you guys. And these are very beautiful. And I wasn't just going to get like my typical four and five and 3.5 in all of them, you know? Next one I got is a girl named Heather. This one is probably one of my favorite ones. This one in Fairy Garden, which Fairy Garden, oh, immaculate. This one is in a girl named Heather. It's in the style Brooke and it's a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I, tr like I said, I tried to buy one of each hook size just to have it all like a whole little collection. Look how beautiful that is. That lilac is so pretty. I love it. Like I said, this one is in Brooke. So I there's two in Brooke that I have so far. And then this one is in Poet this pink one. I kind of hope I remember because I'm not putting them back in their packages. I, I'm trying to remember to see which one I end up loving the most. Style I like the most, so we'll see. Next, let's see which one this one is. We have Rose Champagne. I got it in the style Trumpet, which is supposed to be like an overall, like generalized, like anybody can use it. And it's like more for like, I think it's for like arthritic people. And it's in the like clover hook seven millimeter crochet hook so this one is a little bit bigger from here so you're able to grasp it but i do crochet like this so we'll see how it fits i couldn't get poet in a big crochet hook like this and i wanted a bigger hook so this was the only way to do it to get a different style of hook which i went ahead and did the trumpet one so it should be okay we'll see how i like it and how I maneuver it, but I love that color. It's like so sparkly. I'm going to show you this one in Dream House together. And Dream House is definitely so much brighter. If you hear thunderstorm, I'm sorry. I feel like there's a thunderstorm coming. So look at all of these four together. They're so pretty. I have two more to show you guys. So let's go with this one. This one is Fairy Garden. It's in the style Poet, which is the style that I should be using the pencil grip and it's in a five millimeter clover hook this is literally one of my favorite hooks that one and the lilac one beautiful so pretty I love it so much I'm so excited I think this is I'm telling you every time I grab it I can feel like this is the hooks this is a style of hook that I'm going to like because I can like I can literally feel my grip being perfect with this so and then this is the last one which didn't come with a little sticker on the back so I don't know what it is well I do I already know what it is but I think this is like beach sunset or something and it's like in this yellow with pink and it's like an ombre. It's so pretty. And it is in the size three millimeter crochet hook. So pretty. I love it. Look at my little collection that's growing. And then, like I said, these two are poet. The fairy garden one and the dream house one. These two are poet. These three are brook. These like flat ones are brook. And then this last one is trumpet. 
I will let you guys know as a pencil grip person if I like the hook, which hook size, which hook is better for me, but I'm thinking it's going to be the poet one that she talked about, that Peach and Paige talked about on their page saying that that is best for pencil grip people. So, but I'll keep you guys updated. That's all I wanted to show you guys right now. I have to go eat. I am starving. Um, like I said, I just got home from work and my package arrived. So I felt like I needed to make this ASAP. I'm definitely going to crochet today. So I will keep you guys updated on these hooks. So if there's any mess, just ignore it. You didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and package two orders of sewing sticks that I got over the weekend while I was at work. I think they happened on Friday actually, but I think it was Friday night or Saturday morning. I can't really remember, but we're going to package them today. We got one for Ottawanda and then the other one for Celine. So Ottawanda went ahead and ordered the little piggy sewing sticks. They are so cute. Let me move this light so you guys can see them. Look how cute those are. Aren't they adorable? There, yeah, that's better. There's that one. And then the other one was for Celine, and she ordered the gray elephant with this cute little pink flower. So adorable. So we're going to package those up. I already have their cute little baggies ready with their extra goodies. And let me go ahead and grab cushion from over here. I'm going to put sewing sticks here. These are the elephant ones, which are for Celine. And then we have her bag of goodies here. And all I need to do is write some cards for them, which my custom cards have not came in or my custom notepads haven't came in. So I'm still using these little guys. I'm excited to start using my notepads though as soon as they come in I know they've already shipped so they'll probably get here this week I'm assuming but we're still gonna continue using these little guys if I get any orders and then I have the envelopes the cute little envelopes right here so let me open the new bag up and we need two envelopes I emboss that's what it's called so I always emboss the envelope i think it's so cute that way and i hope you guys have liked it or have even noticed that it's on there i don't think i ever talked about doing it but i do i do it on this side right here i just put it through here and then i press really really hard and this is what it turns like so you can see it um I've been doing it for everyone who's gotten this type of envelope. So if you haven't noticed it and you're watching, go go look at your envelope because I have done it. And it does take a little bit of time and a little bit of strength. So if you guys have noticed it, let me know. If you haven't, let me know as well because I thought that was a cute little touch. Let me go ahead and write these notes out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and made Celine's little notes. We're going to add it in this little guy. We're gonna fold it up halfway. I've already kind of put my little sticker on my poly mailer. And then we can close it up. So I can add the Handmade with Love sticker on there. So, very exciting. I feel so tired. But yeah. There we go. And I'm just gonna write Celine's name at the back so I know where it goes. Thank you, Celine, for your order. I really appreciate it and I hope you love the sewing sticks. So let's go ahead and move on to Ottawanda. Ottawanda went ahead and got the little piggy sewing sticks like I showed you guys, these little cuties. I already wrote her note. So I have her goodies right here. I have her note right here. We're going to fold this little guy up. I'm going to stick him in here. And these are going out tomorrow on Tuesday. So I will drop, drop them all off early. Close it up. And I put the Handmade with Love sticker right here.
there it goes let me put her name underneath and there we go thank you so much autowanda for your order i appreciate it i got two orders this weekend which is amazing so excited there's still a couple more sewing sticks if you guys are interested i will be doing another drop this friday at 5 p.m cst i believe so watch out for that if you're interested in any more sewing sticks and i think i am like i said i showed you guys a little short clip of what I will be making and putting in my shop so I'm excited about that. I also have this package to ship off which are Addison and Batty's crochet hooks that they ordered from Peach and Page. So I will drop these off tomorrow morning. So that's all the updates for now. I'm going to go ahead and hop off for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and make those shipping labels and then I'm probably going to crochet a little bit. I haven't crocheted with my new hooks and I want to. So I'm going to have to find something because I really want to use Poet. So I'm going to have to find something that I use a 5mm hook with or a 4mm hook with. The 5 I use Premier Perfect Chunky, so it's going to be perfect. I'll be back on to show you what I make. That's it for right now. It is 8.33pm. I'll be back. Hey guys, so it is, what's today? Tuesday, March 9th. It's 3.29pm. As you can see there, I went to the post office to drop off all of my stuff. Um, I dropped off two orders and then I had um, the package for Addison and Bathy to drop off since their hooks came in and they all came to my house. So I needed to drop that off. And I actually had a package from one of you lovely ladies, um, High Cliff Crochet. So I'm so excited to see. It came all the way from Illinois, so I am excited. Thank you so much for the person who sent this. I really appreciate it. I'm sure I'm gonna find your name in here somewhere so let's go ahead and open it and we'll see what she sent this is literally like my second package to get so it's like so exciting like I said I'm one of those who keeps everything and so this is definitely going in like a memory box that I have and maybe one day I'll show you guys you know oh she sent me some little scrunchies look how cute these are this one's like a cute little fluffy one. I love this um, Bernat blanket uh, yarn. I have this and it's so nice and soft. Thank you so much. You know I wear them all the time. So it's so cute. And then this one, I think this one's made out of, um, is it the Thick and Quick Wool Ease? I feel like it is so cute though. Look at how beautiful and colorful. This is like giving me Easter vibes. It's so cute. And you know I'm going to use these because look. My hair is always up, so I could literally put this one on right now. And my hair is extremely thick, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's so cute. And then let's see what else she put in here. This is the rest of the stuff that's in here. <gasps> Shut up. She put a crochet hook in here. And it has a cute little porcupine. Is this a porcupine or a hedgehog? It could be a hedgehog. I'm... I'm not good with my animals. <laughs> I think you guys know that. Look how adorable that is. And it's holding a cute little strawberry. I love the colors you use. It's so pretty. I love it. Thank you so much. It's so colorful and it's so cute. Oh, and then she has a sticker. This is beautiful. This is definitely going on my notebook. And it's her little logo, High Cliff Crochet. And it says established in 2023, so last year. Congrats, girl. Her name is Amanda. And Amanda, you bought some of my sewing sticks, didn't you? I, I can't remember which ones they were, but I know you bought some of my sewing sticks. I remember the name. And this is her cute little card. That's her cute little card and then her little QR code if you guys are interested. And her Instagram is High Cliff, High Cliff Crafty Creations. I'm sorry. I don't know how to read. Obviously, I don't know how to read. Yeah, so you would have to DM her for custom orders for plushies and crochet hooks. I'm excited to use this little guy. Like, this is so cute. Thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate it. And let's see what else she put in here. She put cute little, this is the card, so I'll read it in a second. And then she put some little stickers in here. And I love stickers. I'm a sucker for stickers. Stay close to people who feel like sunshine. That's literally going to make me cry. Literally, that, that is so sweet. And then you bake me crazy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I appreciate you. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Where did you find these stickers? I love these. This one's my favorite so far. And then a little rainbow. 
cute little rainbow there and then a cute little planted pot a cute little potted plant I don't know my words here it, I'm just like I feel like on a high right now like overwhelmed you know what I mean like a good overwhelm though let me read this note and I'll be right back well thank you so much Amanda I appreciate your letter and I really do seriously appreciate that you appreciate my content and you know I don't hear so many people like you guys in the crochet community I hear it all the time but like in person you know what I mean like as a healthcare worker case managers are really underappreciated you know it's like we I feel like most even nurses in our field I feel like they think that we don't do anything and so it's nice to hear the like the thank you and being appreciated not saying that you need to tell me every single time that you appreciate me that's not it it's just the sole fact that I hardly ever hear it but in the crochet community I've had so many people say thank you and that they appreciate me being a healthcare worker so thank you so much for saying that you're already making me tear up and I don't need to do that on camera so let me put this up and I'll be right back. Hey, I am back and I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I have been using my crochet hook. This is in a Poet and it is the Fairy Garden one by Peach and Paige. Very very nice. I've actually been trying to see if I can do the knife grip or whatever. It's been going okay. I still kind of revert back to this pencil grip. I just want to see what's better to maneuver like my wrist because I do feel like this I don't know I don't know honestly I feel like if I get tired like if my wrist gets tired of this and I go to this it's a different motion you know so I just need to kind of work on my tension a little bit that's the update on that I love these hooks though and upon like further like working with this one and the brook one this is one of the brook hooks it's just nice plain and sleek like there is no lumps or bumps and this one has like a little bit of an indent here and then it kind of hollows out I like both honestly I don't know if I would say brick is my brook is my, now my favorite though because brook makes me feel like it's closer to just a regular crochet hook versus all the indents this one has this one is beautiful though but I think if if it were just a little bit slimmer, I'd probably love it even more. And the fact that this one's kind of slim all the way until the middle of this, I feel like that's why I gravitate a little bit more towards this. But I have been using both on and off since last night, since I've been working on this project. So, I mean, and my tension, I've kind of, you know, been gauging on because I've been using a knife grip as well. So keep that in mind but from my project it doesn't look like I was like alternating so that's good so I'm keeping up with the tension but this is what I've been working on which is a dragon this is actually for a birthday gift for one of my really really good friends her daughter is turning eight I believe and she she loves some books that are having to deal with dragons I can't remember the name I'll show you what the dragon looks like and maybe you guys know the books so this is the photo of the dragon that she sent me can you guys see that so it's very very blue and then it has like light blue all around it and so I made it this blue because I think this was the closest blue and then I'm not sure if I want to use this blue or this blue for like accent colors because it does have a lighter blue all over it like little speckles it has a lot of designs I'm not going to do all the designs but one of these two I'm kind of leaning more towards this one over here on the left but we will see I have both of them out because I still don't know which one I want to use but we have the head and the body that I've already sewed on together we have the two little ears the two back legs the two thighs the two arms and I still need all of the spikes I need the wings but I kind of want to start piecing it together already. I'm thinking of doing like nice glitter eyes. I think that would be cute. Maybe even ones that I've made. I don't know yet. I have to see what I want to do. That is the update on this dragon. He is pretty long and doesn't my stitches, I mean, they look very cohesive. So I don't feel like you could even tell where I was using the pencil grip versus the knife grip. So very adorable. Very slender. I'm excited to finish it. I should finish it tonight. I really should. Well, this one was one of like the custom orders. So 
I'm happy that I'm finishing this. I want to continue on my Arctic Fox because that one is due this Saturday as well. So I want to finish that one in this video. I think that's it for right now. I think I'm going to continue working on this. I've been catching up with YouTube videos and stuff. I am excited for the live tonight. It is at 8 p.m. CST. I do lives Tuesdays and Thursdays if you didn't know in case you want to join the little bandwagon that we have going on. I just really came on to show you guys all the goodies that I got. I really do appreciate anybody who sends me anything. Thing. thank you so much it really does mean a lot i can't wait to put this little this cute little sticker from high cliff creations onto my little journal and all the other little stickers that she sent with it it's so cute the little i appreciate you is my favorite the little peach or i appreciate you I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, I'll probably continue on this and come back with an update. So I'll be back. If you see any mess, just ignore it. My hair is messy, I know. If you hear my air conditioner, I'm sorry. It's hot, it's so hot. So it's on. Okay, but the reason why I came on is because I received my package. Um, last vlog, I talked about how I made personalized notepads, and they came in from Vista Print. So I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like. They look so good. I'm so excited to use them. And then I can, like, make it even more personalized by using my embosser on it. So I'm, like... I'm probably gonna do that right now here on camera to show you guys but yeah I got a total of four notepads and they come with 50 I think they were $7.99 each or a little less than $7.99 which is pretty inexpensive if I say so myself and they just look so good I made this design on Canva I love like watercolor photos like you know they look realistic but they're watercolory so that's kind of what I went for I wanted to do like a little heaven garden and that's why it has clouds and a sun and butterflies everywhere. It just kind of reminds me of my nieces. So, you know, just a little heaven garden I think is so cute. This is what they look like. Look at how adorable they are. So yeah, clouds lined up, there's a little sun, there's a ton of butterflies, there's seven. Seven is considered a lucky number from everything that I understand, so I put seven little butterflies. Then there's grass, like a little grassy patch here. So that's why I just call it like little heaven garden. That's just what I call it, or garden of heaven, you know? It also has my little logo here, Melly Inspired Crochet with my little elephant. I don't know if it'll focus that close up. This is what I'm going to be writing my notes on. I'm so excited to be sending off to you guys. I'm just going to, going to kind of fold it up and make it fit into one of these little envelopes and I actually do have an order I have to gather all the stuff I'm making some sewing sticks these are for Maddie and so I gotta send her a photo to see if she likes them or if she wants me to change anything that's the last custom order I'm taking because she did reach out to me like three weeks ago and then she finally got back to me this past week so I'm gonna show her these if she approves then I'll be packaging these up as well so I probably have two packages to package up today which it is 4:48 p.m. PM. It's Tuesday, April 9th. So we're doing a lot this week, I feel like. I am still working on the dragon from the last clip. I think that's it for right now. I will catch up with you guys here in a little bit. I do have some Amazon packages coming in. I will show you guys once I get them. But I was just so excited to show you guys these. And I will definitely be ordering more whenever I run low on them. I love them. They're so cute. And it just personalizes the packaging process that much more. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so let me go ahead and show you guys. This order is for Susan. She ordered these cute little bunny sewing sticks. Can you guys see that? There you go. She ordered these cute little bunny sewing sticks with a little bow as a second topper. So we have that. I have her cute little note, Susan. She actually is the first one that's going to receive my new notepads for her letter. So I'm so excited. And I put that in the note just a little tidbit for her in case she doesn't watch my videos and then I have a cute little goodie bag with the plush heart she's getting this cutie and then a ton of stickers and then my sticker we already have this little guy already with all the stickers besides the handmade with loved one let me grab the pink little bag that all of this goes into and we'll be back to print out the shipping label I got all her stuff in there went ahead and closed it I'm gonna go ahead and print the label in I'm sure you'll be able to hear it. Um, I don't know how loud you can hear my air conditioner. Hopefully it's not too loud. If not, you may not be able to hear. I hope you guys heard that print. 
And then this is the reason why I wanted this little trash can. It just makes life easier for me. So, okay, and I think I got another order. Let me look real quick since I have you guys on here. I did, I got another order just now whenever um, I filmed this, literally. It's by Carrie or Kari. And she got the little llama with orange. They are so cute. Hold on. Let me put the shipping label and I'll be right back to show you guys what Carrie got. That was got. embarrassing. I was not recording anything and I was like going full blast on telling you guys about this order. <laughs> that was so funny. But this order is these cute little llama and then the orange. I feel like it goes perfectly with these pastel colors because this orange is like a lighter pastel color. This is for Carrie or Kari. I went ahead and put them in here. I was talking about, I don't know if you guys have suggestions on what I should do for the notepads. I can fold them like this, but they're too big for them to fit in one of my little envelopes that I bought so many of so I was going to like fold it again but I did that with Susan's so I don't know if I should do that or if I should just stick it in here with all the goodies but this bag's not going to close if I do stick this in here it does fit but so I don't know what to do I don't know if I should just go ahead and fold it and put it in the envelope. I think that's what I'm going to do for now because it does end up fitting, but I just kind of jumped the gun on buying so many envelopes and I need to use them up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's just four bins and it looks like that. So I think it'll be okay. I think I'm overthinking things. So let me go ahead and put in this envelope. And then this is going to Tennessee. So I've noticed that I never even kept track on where, like where I'm sending these off to. Like I see them, but I've never said it out loud. And I should have started a little map that like shows you like where each one is going and, um, you know, kind of color in where my packages have gone, but I never did that. I guess I'll never know if I've hit all 50 states. <laughs> And ducks, you know, I have no clue. Let's go ahead and close this up. There it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here. We'll be dropping these off tomorrow. If I get any orders um, while I'm on live, I am more than happy to package them on live. It is 5.52 p.m. So we still have one more hour, two more hours before I go live. So I'll be back on guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys. <clears throat> I have yet to turn my air off. It is too hot. But I did get some packages. I have several. So I kind of want to show you guys. And yeah, I have an issue. But <laughs> let's go ahead and open these packages up. We'll talk about my issue later. My issue is being a shop holly. It's not really an issue. You know, whatever. We won't talk about that. Let's go ahead and open some of these packages up. Let me grab them. We have one, two, three. That feels empty four, five, and six. We're gonna start with this one since I'm holding it. So let me open it up and see what it is. It's probably not gonna be anything enthusiastic. I feel like the bigger ones are never anything too, you know, too enthusiastic. This isn't even crochet related. Oh yes it is actually. Some of it is crochet related. So. I ended up buying these cute little clippable, they're clippable chalkboards. I think that's what they're called. And they come with pens themselves. But I figured for like my five tier storage thing that I use for markets, I could just clip this onto the storage unit thing. Yes, the five tiered storage shelf. I would be able to clip them on. So I bought several of them. They were pretty inexpensive. So I'll have them down in my Amazon storefront. I'll probably try to make an own tab that it's like for market displays. I think I already have one actually. So I'll just add these on there and I think that's a good way of just like pricing your items and not having to like really price them. You know what I mean? If you have several that are the same price range, you know. The other thing in here is a new phone case that I bought. It's, it's okay. Let's look at it together. Let me open it. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Very, very like holographic. I didn't think it would be as shiny as it is. Kind of cute. Next thing in here, I bought this guy because I kept getting recommended on TikTok every time I opened up the app. So yeah, I, I bought in. I didn't get it from the TikTok shop though. I got it from Amazon and it was cheaper on Amazon. So make sure you do that. If you see something you like on TikTok shop, just just Amazon it. Just look on Google to see how if it's cheaper somewhere else. But yeah, it's a Timo. It's a hair comb straightener 
we'll see if it works I have like very thick hair and this is my natural wave like I don't do anything to it it used to be a lot wavier or curlier but since I straightened it you know my entire high school life and college life I would straighten it all the time like 24 7 it's lost its wave and now it's just barely any waves but it's poofy so I figured this might help me lessen the time that I have to spend on my hair and make it you know make it look a little bit nicer so I bought this we'll test it out probably this week and I'll see how I like it. The other thing in here are these cute little silicone bears that I bought. I think they're so cute. Look at how adorable this is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it's a little bear but it has like floral on its little toes. Can you see its little toes? I love that. It's like leafy and floral so several colors but I thought that would be nice to add. Maybe someone wants a bear. Next, I'm going to open this small package. Not sure what it is. It says Amazon, so. Oh, this is the case that I was excited about. Ooh, it feels nice and thick. So, I think this is the case that we're going to be putting on my phone. And it's my favorite color. It actually goes with my... Isn't it crazy? I didn't even show you guys. I'll show you guys in a second. But it actually goes with my new comforter set that I bought from Amazon. And it then recommended me this phone case because of my comforter. And I was like, ooh, maybe I should buy that phone case instead of the one that I had already bought which was that other one it is this one right here look how beautiful that is and then it's like black on the inside and it feels really really good so oh, i'm so excited about this i can't wait i haven't had a new phone case I've, I've had this phone case for a while which is cute and all but i'm excited to change it out though literally this is my comforter set let's go ahead and get into this big boy i don't know what's in here there's so much in here. So I did order some more of the lettered beads, that the silicone beads that I'm going to be using for those stitch markers that I was talking about. So I got two more of those. I also ordered some of these bigger sized little boards. It's a little chalkboard, so I'm able to write pricing too. I figured if the other ones didn't work, I could use my Cricut and like put the pricing on here without like using a marker so I'm excited about that it came with a total of six and I don't think it was too bad I honestly can't remember the price but they'll be on my Amazon storefront if you're interested then I got a couple of different options for silicone beads and the cat version so I got these little guys right here they actually have little yarn balls, so if you guys are interested, I'm going to be putting some up on Friday. Hopefully they go well. I might do two or three of them in a variety of colors, maybe like one all pink, one all yellow, one pastel. I'll see what colors I want to do. And then I even got these little black cats. They're so cute. They have different eye colors. Some are green eyes, some are yellow, and some are orange eyes. I'm sure I've already said this. I'm pretty sure I said that said it yesterday or the day before, but I am making stitch markers with people's initials and then with a silicone bead on top to kind of match the sewing sticks that you get. So I'm excited about that. I also want some that are more plain. If you order one with like a bigger bead like this, it'll probably be like a, I, I'm thinking of charging a dollar more. And if you just do like plain beads, like just the circular beads, I'll probably just make it a dollar less because those are actually cheaper in bulk than these are. These are a lot more expensive. They're like, they can be up to 16, 17 dollars for like a pair of 10, you know, and then the circular beads you can buy like a hundred of them for like $9.99 so that's a lot cheaper when it comes to like having like a big topper silicone bead so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm not sure how much I want to price them I do want to make it like a duo slash trio if you guys want like keychain car rings I can do that and I can do the stitch marker and then the sewing stick so all three together in like one trio I think would look so cute so you are matching everywhere <laughs> I hope you guys are excited I'm excited and yeah let's go ahead and open up this box over here I think I was done with that other box that I opened I don't think I'm getting my yeah I think that's Thursday I ordered like a little desk organizer for the front of for this front desk like I said I ordered like a pencil holder for my cr new crochet hooks right now I just have them sitting 
in this little basket over here because I don't want them to break because of course with this I think it's resin they bump in they fall on my hardwood floors they may break so I don't want that let's see what's in here you know what's funny I have more like there's more than my packages that arrived to my home and I'm over here opening these like all of these are my packages I didn't even read if they were like my brothers or family <laughs> Oops. Well, hopefully they are mine because I've already opened half of these. Oh, okay. Yes. So this is the type of string that I'll be using for those beads, the silicone beads for the key rings and stuff. So, and then we actually got my little, my little class, my lobster class that I ordered so I can actually start making them. I'm so excited. I have them right here. I think I ordered two 100 just to make sure I had enough in case people wanted. Yep, I got two of those. And then I did order a new kitchen scale because the polyfill on my bigger scale was not even registering. It was so, like the amount like this would not register, it's too, too little. So yeah, I got a new scale or I got another scale to combine it with my bigger scale. And I don't know what this is. I think it's probably more lobster clasps they're probably a little bit bigger for like your keychains or I keep saying keychains for your keys is what I mean to say. The lobster class, the smaller ones are for your stitch markers. It's just the little silver ones. I don't think they had any black ones and silver is fine. You know, it's like natural, whatever. It's like what people mainly see as key, um, key rings. So we got those. I'm so happy because I feel like I can start making stuff, you know? Let's go ahead and open this one that feels like there's nothing in here. I'm closed within it. Let's see. I, need, I feel like I need scissors. Oh, it opened. Oh, I think these are my blue light glasses. That's what it feels like. I ordered some blue light glasses because if you guys know, I'm a case manager at one of my local hospitals and I am literally... Out of the 12 hours, I like spend 10 hours on the computer, you know? So I went ahead and bought some. We're gonna have to see what they look like. I gotta change my, it looks like my battery's depleted. Let me go ahead and change it out and I'll be right back. I'm really so happy that like, I, <laughs> Uh, I feel like I can't keep a straight face, but these are the glasses. I think they're so cute and it's literally because I work on the camera It's literally because I work on the computer for so much and I feel like I'm probably gonna wear these whenever I edit my videos just because my eyes do tend to tire out because of the computer So I'm so excited to have these. They're pretty cute I'm so happy that I have a second battery because that would be terrible if I couldn't open the rest of my packages because I only had one battery sucks so there is that and then I have one more package to open these are a lot of silicone toppers so oh these are a lot bigger than what I expected but I wanted these little Mickey Mouse headbands and they came in several colors so I went ahead and got a couple of those kind of cute but they're just really thick I hope people are interested in that and then I got a lot of the different beads I didn't know that there was only going to be literally 26 in just one. But I got some more beads and these are in gold. I think what I'm going to carry standard is the black beads because these are the easiest to find. And I don't want to be waiting for different colored beads to come in. But I also got these cute little fish. More of those um, standard black and white. I got these pink ones which, you know, I hardly have any. So I guess it's like first come first serve. I got more of the black and white. I got these cute little silicone toppers. They're cute. They're like a moon, a heart. These are just so adorable because on the inside, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's detailed with like flowers and floral and leaves. So I thought a pack of that would be adorable. Got some more of those headbands here. I got some of the gray with white lettering beads more of the gray with white lettering beads. Got some lilac with white lettering. Got some more of those. Uh, I guess I really thought these are gonna pop off. I don't know, but got some more of the headbands. Got some mint lettering beads. Got some of this light blue lettering beads. Got this gold and white lettering beads. 
Oh my gosh, I got so many lettering beads. Oh, and I got these cute little bow ones for Minnie. The other ones are like Mickey and this is Minnie. Got some more of the like light blue beads. These are different cat ones. They kind of look like little tigers or something, but they're cats is what they were saying they are. I got some mint and white lettering beads. Oh my gosh, so many lettering beads. Some lilac with white lettering beads. And then last, I got some of these light pink with white lettering beads. So that is a lot of beads. I have some organization things that are going to come in that's going to help me organize these a little bit more. I actually organized some stuff. I don't think I showed you guys. Let me grab it to show you guys. I may have showed you like the box, but I don't think I showed you showed myself organizing them or showed you the aftermath. So let me grab them and show you. So the first thing is this box right here with all of my letters. Now I can add the rest of them in here. The colored ones are probably just going to be added in the back rows because I do have like eight more rows to go. Hopefully they fit. I think they will. And then this is for all of my, one is gonna be for like my second toppers. One is gonna be for my main toppers, like the first toppers. I did go ahead and buy two more of these because I have a lot of silicone beads and I wanna organize them by color as well as animals so like the yellow wing bees are by themselves versus the white wing bees the dinos the sage dinos are by themselves versus the gray or blue dinos or this is an elephant but you get my point that's how i want to organize them because it'll keep me kind of more accountable instead of saying yeah i have that bead i can just literally look at the top of this it like you can you can see through it and I can literally tell you no I don't have that bead that one's out of stock it just keeps me more organized plus it looks cuter when I take these out and I'm like looking through them it makes me feel professional so I'm happy about that I'm happy to be organizing my life and I can just grab all these when someone orders and I can kind of skim through them and say they want a little crayon I can just grab this little crayon tray right here and grab one of these little suckers you know and then if I'm running low I know what I'm running low on and I know what to order instead of guessing that I need more koalas when I have 500 koalas literally I have so many koalas y'all need to order some koala sewing sticks I'm definitely going to be putting a lot of koalas on Friday's launch because I have too many <laughs> I have so many especially like the minty ones and the um, little lilac ones which are my favorite color but no one has ordered them so I'm gonna have to put those up and and see if anybody wants to snatch those up for sewing sticks so I'm excited about this I may be doing some beaded work tonight because I was waiting on those lobster claps I was waiting on those lobster clasps to get here from Amazon in order for me to start this venture because I've done a couple like I showed you the stitches by Patti one but that's just um, not the ones that I wanted to send out so I'm happy that I have exactly the beads that I want to use so very very excited about that I think Christy which is one of my mods is gonna really like these mini ears and stuff so I'm probably gonna send her a picture and see if that's what she wants her stitch marker or keychain to be if you are one of my mods I always give them like little freebies because they literally work their little butts off to help me have a good live every Tuesday and Thursday and the fact that they show up and they're there and they love to help me without hesitation I love that Thank you so much, you guys. I really do appreciate it. I'm happy that Mariah has now come into our little group. I know a lot of you guys um, like to interact with my mods and my mods love you guys as well. So make sure you give them a follow guys because they literally come to every stream and they literally help us have a good stream. They literally help me decipher like all of these messages. So I'm able to talk to you and interact with you guys. That is like extremely helpful. I cannot thank them enough and I really do appreciate them. So I am definitely going to be making Making their uh, little stitch markers first and go from there they're probably the ones that are gonna have the colored beads if they want them because I only have a limited amount of stock on my colored beads everything else I is gonna be black and white as soon as these are gone they're gone so 
I only have a couple left. If you're interested, just message me on Instagram. Please don't email me because obviously I'm not good at keeping up with like 500. It's not 500, but like different platforms. I'm just, if they're all in one setting, I can definitely get it done for you and I don't want to forget. So yeah, excited about that. I'm excited about this organization thing. I don't even know if two more of these is going to like be enough for all of my toppers that I have. We'll see if I have to order more. I'm going to have to wait until my next paycheck because your girl is trying to get organized, you know? So, and these are not cheap. I will link them down in my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in buying them. But I literally think it was like 28 to 33 bucks for two of these. And that's pretty expensive for just plastic in my opinion, right? But maybe you guys are good to buy these at. if you want to buy these definitely i really think they help me organize a lot so it is 7 12 right now so let me go ahead and put all this stuff up i have so much in front of me and my group chat has been going crazy so i need to you know see what's going on in there and um i will see you on my live i'll probably update you guys after my live but i don't think i'm gonna get on the camera before my live because it's already 7 12 i got like 45 more minutes i will see you guys in a little bit Hey guys, so I got some packages. It is April 10th, Wednesday. It's 3.10 p.m. 3.13 p.m., not 3.10, oh gosh. And I wanna show you the packages that I received and my finished dragon that I was showing you guys the little parts of. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. So this guy is pretty big, but he is, or it's supposed to be a she, and I think her name is supposed to be Tsunami. It's from a it's based off a book. So this is for my friend's daughter and I think she's turning eight years old on the 10th. So today, on the 10th, she's turning eight. So happy birthday to her. And I went ahead and made her this little guy. I'm not going to give it to her until tomorrow, but I'm excited to be giving it to her. And it has two different types of blue. Let me back it up. There's like a, it's like a bluish green on it. I feel like you can see it on the wing, on the little spikes. I have it also on the wings and on the spikes up here. This is a pattern from Red Mills Crochet. She does really good dragon patterns. That's literally like her stick. So this is like her niche. So very adorable. I love it. It's like a little sleepy baby dragon. And then it's so long. So very adorable. I'm probably going to take one more reel with it before I give it to her tomorrow just so I can have a little bit more content. I did post a reel about it today and it was just her like snuggled up asleep, but I want one with me in it so I can post for future reels. She's adorable. I'm so happy I finished her. I started her Monday night and I finished her Tuesday. Well, it was like Wednesday morning, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., so maybe later than that, honestly. <laughs> can't keep track of the time. The next thing that I want to show you is an Amazon package I got earlier today, and I already opened it, and it's a bag of these little cuties. These are just like little resin bears. There's several little bears in here. There's like little candy resins. Like, they're so adorable. Look at how cute that is. So I figured I can add this to the pile of like freebies because I like to give you guys like a cute little, just a cute little resin thing. I think they're adorable. Then I have three packages like this and a big box. This box I'm pretty sure is my organization for my silicone beads. So I want to open this first. I'll probably organize more beads today. So I'm excited about that because I want them to be nicely organized. So I'm able to see what I have and what I need instead of just buying. And it is, I actually ordered a three, a three pack. I don't remember that, but I'm pretty sure, I guess I did, you know? It's three, so I think I'll have enough for all of my like main toppers. And then in here, we finally have the infamous cat toppers that I've been waiting for. I actually ordered these twice once it got lost in the mail. So I asked for a replacement and they're finally sending it. This I repurchased and I'm like, let me see if it'll get to me. And it sure did. I thought there was a black cat in here, but there's not. There's only a dark gray one. Look at it. So no black cats, which is sad and upsetting because I thought there was a black cat in here. That's the sole reason I bought this, <laughs> but no black cat. It's okay. I'm sure cat lovers will want 
something from there and I'll make a couple of sewing sticks for Friday's launch or Friday's drop. The next thing I ordered were these cute little dog toppers. People were asking for dogs. I have some dog toppers. There's even some cats actually. There's a black cat right there and then this says cat mom and then one says I woof you. So I'm excited about that. Th those are cute. Cute new toppers. Let's go ahead and open this next one. These are the colorful ones that I was talking about. They're from Fulu Soto. I can link them on my Amazon storefront if you're interested in like getting something small like as a freebie. I think these are adorable. These are just like candies, like acrylic little candies or like acrylic little duckies. Like this one's a cute little duck. I don't even know how to show you. It's so tiny cute little duck. The re main reason I got these is because of the lollipops. I think they were so like so cute and so tiny. You can just like have a collection of these on your desk. Look at how adorable this one is. It even has like the stick for the lollipop. Ugh, so cute. We have several like there's a little cacti one with a little flower on top. There's so many on here in here. These are just like a little concha. I don't even think you can see it. Adorable like that. So they're like I said, they're both from the same brand. See neutrals and like colorful. Next I have this big old thing. I think it's my new sewing needles that I bought. I bought so many because my sewing sticks have been doing so well and I'm running low. And if they are, I just ordered them last week. So they got here pretty quick. It sure is all of my needles that I bought. I'm gonna leave them in that bag because the last time I opened the bag they came wet. Patty was telling me that since the knitting needles are made out of metal, metal gives off like some type of oil and that's probably why they came wet. Me personally, I don't I don't like not knowing what the wetness is. So I what I did last what I did last time for the knitting needles, I washed them all and then I used some wipes to like clean them off after I like hand washed them with soap. I just let them kind of sit in my sink with soap in them and then dried them off and then I used some Clorox wipes to kind of give it a final clean <laughs> cleaning you know what I mean so I'm gonna be doing that with those it just makes me feel better you know so I'll do that tonight and then I got one more bag and I think it's nothing but silicone beads so let's look yeah so I got these cute little butterflies thought they were adorable they're like more opened ones then I got some little dragon toppers I thought that would be cute these big beaded flowers I thought those adorable several colors I listened to you guys and I got some froggies turtles I got some turtles look at how cute he is I got several of those I think it's 10 total. Let me show you the frogs. I'm only going to show one color though. We'll go for the lighter green. Look how adorable. I got some cute little bears. Look at them. Last two, I got more turtles. So I got two of the turtles, but th this is colorful ones. The other one was just the um, green. And then I got more of those flowers that I showed earlier. Several of those for us neutral girls who don't like little animals on sewing sticks. That's all I have for now. I'm going to go ahead and organize these. I did buy a bag. I don't think I showed you guys. And it came in my first order. It's just a simple bag. I like simple things. And this bag is really cute. Like if I wanted to go somewhere and just pick up and go, I would grab this bag. And I... I don't know. Maybe I'll just use it as my everyday bag, but it's just adorable and it has so many pockets So I feel like I can put some yarn crochet hooks and um, Still have all of my essentials For going out and it would still all fit. It's this little brown bag I can link it on my Amazon storefront just so you guys can see it. It's really good quality It's not like flimsy or anything. It's like thick material kind of feels like blue jean material like that thickness I don't know what that is I don't know what that's called but it has these two handles and then it has a pocket right here automatically first thing I thought was oh my phone can go in there and then it has another pocket right behind it and it's a pretty big compartment 
that you can put stuff in. And then we get on to the main pocket size or the main bag. And there's a little zipper in here for a pocket. There's a couple of pockets that you can just like put crochet hooks in right in here. There's two slits. And then you get to the back and guess what? There's another pocket right out here, which is awesome. And then I I love bags like crossbody bags. So it does come with the crossbody version. And I just really like it. But yeah, I think it's cute. Um, it's not like, I don't feel like it's very like fashion statement, but I don't really care. Like as long as it's functional, I like the color and the durability, please. You know, it wasn't that expensive either. So I will link it in my storefront. And if it's not there, cause I'm, I forget stuff guys, I forget things, but if it's not there, just let me know and let me know in the comments and I will add it. That is it for right now. Thank you guys. And I will be back on, I'm trying to see what I'm going to crochet with my hooks. Of course, I keep talking about these new hooks. I freaking love them. I'm obsessed with them. I really like crocheting with them. So I'll be back guys. Hey guys. So this is a ton of my, well, not my whole collection, but it's a lot of my silicone beads. As I put them up, I wanted to show you guys just like a time lapse and then show you all the beads that I do have. Just in case you're interested, I have a ton of beads. Don't, don't be like me and buy 5,000 types of beads, okay? But I have so many and I'm trying to stay organized so I know what I need to buy and what people like the most. I think we're almost completely sold out of the first batch that I did of, I think there's like three or four sewing sticks left on my website, so or on my Etsy, not my website, my Etsy. But I went ahead and already organized a little bit here. guys ignore my hair i'm just finishing this video off it's april 11 12 it's thursday and my sd card ran out of space so i had to delete the footage from saturday i thought i had deleted it but i didn't so it was just sitting in there now that it's deleted i have plenty of space i'm gonna go ahead and end this video off i didn't really end up doing anything else besides taking a long nap because i'm gonna have to stay up to edit this video which i'm a night owl anyway so that's completely okay i do need to make two sewing sticks one for the orange and one for the green this was for um a girl that her name is tati i believe we had messaged back and forth like three weeks ago and she was waiting on the cat's silicone beads to arrive now that those are here she got two pairs actually so very excited about that i'm excited to be making some more sewing sticks for friday's drop what's the other thing that i need to update you guys on maybe i'll put the tester call out today we'll see just depends um but yeah i'm just gonna spend the rest of the night editing this video and watching some walking dead on my phone or the rookie depends on what i'm interested in but yeah guys if you made it this far into the video make sure you leave hmm make sure you leave a yarn ball down in the comments below i don't think we've ever done a yarn ball we definitely should do a yarn ball so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys on thursday's live which is tonight's live bye